guys, Andy here, and today we have our April update for the Nightmare on Painting Street Project Pan. If you don't know about this project, it is a horror movie themed project pan roulette style where that's going on from October 31st of 2022 to October 31st of this year where you're randomly choosing horror movies and then picking your products that best match that prompt and you can either roll in six or 13 you know spooky numbers there and yeah if you want to see what products that I'm going to be rolling out because I'm rolling out a couple what we're going to be rolling in new, then just stay tuned. As always, the makeup that I'm wearing will be listed in the description box down below. And if you like makeup unboxings with a little bit of horror sprinkled in, please consider subscribing as I would love to have you here. And let's go ahead and get on into this month's update. <music> So everyone's doing this project just a little bit differently. The way I'm doing it is I have six products in at a time with a 13 use goal on each of them. And I will just start off with the products that are staying in. We will grab those. So from the very beginning, the one that's been in the longest for the Prompt Jaws, which was, I believe a water themed item. That is what I chose to be my ColourPop High Tide palette. And of course I wanted to do 13 looks with this. I have done five looks and it still barely looks used, but I absolutely adore this palette. I knew this was going to be in pretty much for the whole year, but I'm happy to have it in here. I want to start getting more use on it, but with my pan that palette, and surprisingly, I didn't use it in today's look. That's This is a different color pop look, but I should have used at least something from it to have gotten a use on that, but I digress. I've gotten five looks on it out of the palette so far, so I'm pretty happy with the progress. We're, you know, chugging along there. And I was debating on lowering that down to six just so that maybe we could get that rolled out a little bit sooner since I am doing a pan that palette. So I think I might do that so that I only have to do one more look on it, which, you know, if that's cheating, then I'm so sorry. But we're going to be we're changing up some rules this month because I'm feeling saucy. So six looks. I'm going to write that down. So I'm going to do one more look with that palette so that we can get that guy rolled out because otherwise it really is going to be in until this coming October and that just isn't fun for anybody. I want, we, you know, the fun part is rolling things in and out. Next we have The Exorcism of Emily Rose and that was... An item that makes you levitate on cloud nine. And for me, what I chose was my Beauty Bakery Snackaroons blush in the shade Hot Pumpkin. It still looks brand new, even though I've used it a total of 11 out of 13 times. I really just need to get these last two uses on this to get this guy rolled out. And I think I can do that by next month's update. So I'm very excited. Hopefully we will have this rolled out. Next here we have for Carrie, which was doo -doo 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 -doo. an item that's a sin not to have in your collection. And for me, that is my NYX XXL lingerie in the shade Naughty Noir. This is my favorite black lipstick. Let's see what we got for a weight. I did milliliters, so let's, because I have th three uses on this so far. So when we brought this in, it weighed 32 milliliters, and it still weighs 32 milliliters. So no weight change, which I expect. That's fine, but we've gotten our three out of 13 uses on that guy, which is crazy. I used to wear black lipstick with every look, but just been wearing fun things lately. Next we have our Friday the 13th which I think was a summer themed item. For, yeah a summer themed item which 
chose the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Duo. This is Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset. And I have 11 out of 13 uses, so I only have to use this twice more as well. So I'm hoping, you know, if I can get two more uses on this in the blush, I can get both of these rolled out next month. So that's exciting. Now our next two products, rolled them in the last update, rolling them out now, and I'm very excited. Well, I didn't roll this, did I? I don't remember, I think this is February. But for Bride of Chucky, it was something you use for a wedding or as a bridal event, and I picked my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. I got my 13 uses on it. I love this setting spray. We started with 130 milliliters, and we're ending at 110. So, end at 110. So we use 20 milliliters in 13 uses. I think that's super interesting. So that is rolling out. And then for Psycho, which, what was that one? Psycho was an item that you use in the shower. So I picked my Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Deep Conditioning Curl Mask. And I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to get my full 13 uses, but I actually still have this much left. So I could probably get two more uses out of this guy. But this started, I got my full 13 uses, and this started at 7.94 ounces. And is now weighing 3.7 ounces. So 3.7 ounces. So 13 uses used about half the product, which is super awesome to see. I'm definitely going to put this back in my shower. I do really like it. It leaves my hair super soft. So that's been super nice to use. I really like the Not Your Mother's line for curly hair just in general. But since we're rolling two things out, we are at least going to be rolling two things in. Let me get my wheel up here. Tiny decisions. And Nightmare on Panning Street. So we are going to just... Spin the wheel here and let's see what we get. I know what you did last summer. So that is... Let me find it on here. Give me just a second. That is something you purchased a past summer. Okay, so let me write that down. Give me one second here. All right, ah, and now let's pick our next one. What's it gonna be? Sleepaway Camp. Okay. Sleepaway Camp is a product that wasn't what you expected. Okay. Camp. So I'm gonna go ahead, figure out what those are gonna be in my collection, and I will come back with those, and then, yeah, we will we will get on to getting on. So give me just a few minutes here. All right, that took me a little bit of time, but I got my items. And for, I know what you did last summer, last summer, literally, I bought the Morphe 2 Jelly Eye Shimmer in the shade Confetti. Proof, August 12th, 2022 from Ulta Beauty. Here and I will, just so you guys can see it, zoom in on the Morphe 2 Eye Shimmer. So I will go ahead and give you guys a swatch. This is super pretty. I'm going to put this for a six-use goal. It is so gorgeous. I feel like this will go great with my Pan That palette. It'll go great with either of the blue, my teal and my blue palettes for my other projects. Like, this will be beautiful. 
So we are putting that in for six uses. And for Sleepaway Camp, another very similar item. For something that's not what I expected, I'm going to go with the Rem Beauty. This is the Metallic Gel Eyeshadow in the shade Touch. I thought this was going to be... Hmm, I don't know what I thought it was going to be. More like a jelly? And it's just... It's not. I have it right there. And this will go, again, really nicely with my ColourPop palette, with my teal uh, eyeliner that I have in my A to Z project pan. I need to get some use on this. So I'm also going to set a six use goal. R.E.M. Beauty gel. So both of these are going in the project. So now I would love to hear your feedback on should I keep it at six products going forward or would you like me to bump it up to 13 products? Because I've been going back and forth with myself on whether or not I wanted to bump it up because otherwise I'm not going to be getting through a lot of these prompts. But I have a lot of other projects going as well, so I didn't want to overwhelm myself with just one project. So let me know, do you want to see more prompts? Because if you do, next month I can definitely roll in more prompts to make it 13 from here from going forward. So I would love to hear your comments down below on that. But otherwise, we had two rollouts, two new roll-ins, and I'm super excited and if you're doing this project as well, let me know in the comments. I would love to watch your videos and see your progress. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.